So this looks pretty good. Um, for our purposes, you know, this is okay. Uh, but if you're good with SketchUp and you want to get a little bit more detailed with it, let's go, let's get a little bit more detailed. So first of all, I can see the top right here is a little bit messed up. You know, we can fix that. That's an easy fix. Uh, I'm just going to triple click. I'm going to delete that. That happened when we did our rotate. Actually, just undo. What I did is I rotated part of the top as well. Let's turn off those hidden. Let's turn my guides back on. So if I wanted to make that rotate a little bit better, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to unselect the deck because I don't need that. So I've got just the side parts here. I'm going to hit rotate. Or here's another instance where you could do the flip button. I'm going to use rotate. I'm going to click. Click. Oh, I didn't hit control. So let's hit control to make a copy. Let's use the move button. Alright, so there you go. So that's what's happening is when I hit that move button, I had that point selected also. So when I selected right here, it selected a point on there. But if I select here, it's still selected. Okay. So that happened with my move button. Let's move it first. All right, so I just moved it over there. Now let's rotate it. Now let's move it back. All right, so that's lined up right there. That looks pretty good. So because this is a truss bridge, a lot of times you have those kind of supports that go on the top right here. So I could add some of those with just some rectangles. So make a rectangle across here. Let's make it one foot, three inches. Again, if I look at my dimensions there, I want to keep that 27 foot, six inches because the computer did that math for me. So I'm going to hit comma to just skip over that first dimension, then one foot three inches, and then bring that up one foot three inches. Okay, so I see what happened here. So because I did not group this top part, it's treating this all. Because I did not triple click and make group that's why it was doing that thing before. All right, let's make that rectangle again. There we go. All right, so I've got this little cross support right here. Let's triple click. Let's right click. Let's make it a group. Let's hit the move button. Let's hit the copy, the control button to copy it, and let's put one over here. Let's put another one over here. Yeah, you can make it line up however you need to. You could add diagonal parts into there. You know, whatever, whatever you want to do to make it look good. All right. Now let's talk about this little section right here where they're overlapping. I don't want that. So let us, there's a couple ways we can do it. One is we can edit our group. So I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to take the line tool. And I want to chop off this corner. So I'm going to hit that. So I just drew a line from that corner to that corner. And I'm going to use the push pull to get rid of this side. So now it goes from there to there. 
All right. Now let's, this piece right here, do the same thing. Double click on it, make my line from there to there, push pull all the way back. So that looks a little bit, that looks a little bit better. Um, if I wanted to make those like part of the same piece in SketchUp, like if they were overlapping, I was pulling up this side as an example. If I wanted to take two pieces and kind of join them together, right? So in SketchUp, I can take this piece and this piece, and they can they can go through each other. SketchUp has no problem making things go through each other. But if I wanted to make them, this piece and this piece, the same thing, this button right here, you've got outer shell, you've got union, you've got subtract, you've got trim, you've got intersect, and you've got split. So this is where you take multiple pieces and however they interact, you can remove one from the other, you can take two pieces, put them together. So let's take outer shell, let's see what happens. Select the first solid, I wanna select this one. Select the second solid, I wanna select this one. And now what you see is it just made both of those pieces one piece. It just joined them together right there. So now if you went to move it, it's all one piece right there. So another option right there could have been the uh, intersect or union. So let's click union, see what happens. Select the first solid, this one. Select the second solid, this one. All right, so this one turned out the same thing. Trim, undo, same thing. Trim, select the first one, select the second one. What that does is it picked one and it just cut off the other one. So this one, if I move this out, you see it just cut off that corner right there so that those two pieces fit together nicely. So that trim tool might be what you want as well. Now if I wanted to make this look pretty, you know, you can change all of the, uh, the materials if you wanted to. Uh, if I hit the third one down here, fourth one down here, if I could count, hit the materials, hit my little paint bucket, and I've got concrete, hit my little magnifying glass here. I've got concrete and asphalt, so I can paint that, make it look like a road. I can, if I have metal for these supports right here, there. Uh, I can pick metal. Yeah, if I wanted to make it out of metal or the support pieces. Yeah, whatever you want to do. If you want to make it look rusty metal, like a lot of bridges. Uh, a lot of different choices you can choose from here. All right, so you've got a nice bridge right here. Let's undo that. Let's turn off those guides to make it look pretty. Or we can delete those guides. We don't need them anymore. We can hit delete guides so they go away, or I can just turn them off right there. So I've got a bridge right here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save it. 